Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Room. Today, we're taking a look at the Malkernig X54 all-round coffee grinder. This is a welcome addition from Malkernig, who have an enduring reputation in the commercial sector for making some of the best reliable and precise grinders coffee professionals use. The X54 made for the home coffee enthusiast is inspired by and draws in those elements of success Malkernig have had at the cafe level. And they haven't held back on producing a very high quality durable grinder that's capable of grinding flawlessly for all styles of brewing coffee, which is not an easy thing to accomplish. Now, if you're looking to shop the X54, you can from this link up above, but stay with me now as we jump in and pour over the specs that make this one a grind you can rely on. Dimensions wise, the X54 is compact for its power and abilities, and it stands at 42 and a half centimeters tall, 19 centimeters wide, and is 28 centimeters deep with that magnetically attached grinds tray. The main body of the grinder, being made out of steel, weighs in a good 5.1 kilograms. The capacity to the grinder's hopper is 500 grams. And I noticed by keeping a full to half hopper of beans in there, helps keep a consistent pressure being fed into the burr chamber for the optimal results. The hopper, although not a significant feature to the performance of the grinder itself, it does have a very high quality finish to it that reflects that of the rest of the grinder. And it uses a clever hopper shutoff valve that won't allow you to remove the hopper without having that shutoff valve fully closed. And then this way you avoid beans spilling out all over the place. And if I think about any other grinder's hopper, it's usually precariously sitting up there on top of the grinder, some better than others. The X54 though does go that one step further and it attaches the hopper by four anchor pins which hold it very sturdy in place. So the X54 uses horizontally aligned, you guessed it, 54 millimeter flat burrs for grinding. And Malconic have gone and reduced the speed that these flat burrs spin down to 1050 RPMs. And this is for better uniformity in the grinds across all grind settings, as well as a reduction in the heat created during grinding. So I wouldn't say it grinds particularly fast, but it makes up for it for grinding fairly quiet at around 70 decibels, much like its bigger siblings, the K30 and the E65S. And for what it's worth, Malconic have placed a motor lifetime promise of 25,000 shots of coffee on the X54, which is a substantial amount for any home appliance, and it equates to 22 years at three shots of coffee a day. Now, I will say the espressos I have had on the X54 have all been very enjoyable, clean and vibrant espressos, which is a common aspect from a good flat burr grinder. Now, as a stepless grinder and having full movement of that grind dial, the X54 has adjustment markers starting from zero going up to 35 numbers on the dial. And you will want to run this grinder if there are beans in the chamber and you're adjusting the grind finer, but otherwise it's a very smooth action in changing the dial. You can also calibrate this grinder for extra coarser or finer settings that weren't available to you out of the box. Although the X54 I received was at that zero point when the dial read zero. Now, designed to be an all round, all purpose grinder, means whilst appearing to be like an espresso grinder, the X54 will equally grind coarser coffee too, used for filter brewing. And due to the reduced RPMs of the motor and the burrs not being a matched set, it does quite well at the coarser end of the spectrum. And this is a rare statement to make about any grinder, as whilst we can pretty well agree that every grinder has a finer to coarser adjustment, you will discover a departure from the consistency of those grinds at coarser settings. The X54 though has been carefully considered not to suffer this same comparison. And it will happily grind for automatic espresso machines as well as manual espresso brewers to your stovetop mocha pot style coffee as well as AeroPress and Delta coffee press, V60s and other pour over methods as well as cupping and French press and then to the coarser end of the spectrum where you have cold brewing. Now I did discover around one to two grams of ground coffee from a previous grind setting retained within the grinds chamber of the X54. So it is important to purge after every grind change. And if you're looking to jump between brew methods and grind changing often, in using the X54, I set a three second purge on one of the presets to use every time I adjusted my grind and that way it was a quick transition between it. And taking a look at the display and settings on the X54, Borrowed from their commercial line of grinders is a single press and twist button for all your programming. 
you're able to increase the time of your programs by a tenth of a second in order to accurately grind out the precise dose you're after. And you have four timed dosing options as well as a manual grinding mode. Now to activate the X54, there's a press to start and stop button found next to the display or an automatic switch inside the cradle when it's installed for hands-free grinding with your portafilter. So I found the precision of my program doses, along with using a full to half hopper of beans, have been within the range of 0.2 to 0.3 grams of a variance either way of my desired dose. And it would be better if there was a single dosing option available to limit this variant. Not to say you can't do it with the X54, but it really hasn't been set up for this approach to grinding. It is easy, however, to top up a dose if you found it to be slightly underweight. And this is something I do enjoy with the programs on the X54, it's the ability to stop and start the grinding within a program and it will hold that time on the screen for a little while and this helps collapse in that bed of coffee whilst you're dosing into a portafilter it might even give you enough time to check the weight within the settings you will also discover a wi-fi mode where you can inspect and review all the grinders logbooks with the operation information on each and every time you've used the grinder and this would become useful say during maintenance of the x54 and it could identify when you need to change the burrs moving down further on the face of the grinder where you have that removable grind chute there's a choice of face plates to use on the x54 there's the open faceplate, used in combination with the included large steel catch cup, ideal for all your filter brewing needs. This is removable via a release button on the side of the grinder, and then you can easily switch it out for a hands-free universal portafilter rest. Adjusting the cradle at the back of this faceplate prior to placing it on will get you a nice snug fit for your portafilter, and then when placed into the cradle, it will grind away automatically hands-free to whichever program you've got it set on. Now, to discuss static and retention on the X54, grinds are always transferred cleanly into a portafilter at fine settings with espresso roasts. Over 20 grams though, and you will need to settle your basket. Now, I haven't seen any more than the usual static at coarser settings using filter roasts, and I have already discussed there are retained grinds within the grinds chamber through using a half or full hopper of beans. And with single dosing, it will be a little bit more inconsistent, but will eventually settle down with some use. Now to clean the X54 and access that burr chamber, you will need a small Torx head screwdriver to remove the four hopper locking pins found underneath the hopper. Once these are removed, that top plate twists off easily, and then there are three regular screws to access the burrs. Give these burrs and that burr chamber a nice clean out with a vacuum even, before placing it all back together to begin grinding effortlessly once more. And that's the Malconig X54 all-round coffee grinder for you. Now, with its duty cycle limitations, this is definitely not a cafe grinder. But with all its looks, the features, and that workflow, it reflects that of the quality and the craftsmanship that Malconig place in all of their grinders. The X54 stands out for being a very promising grinder to use on your coffee bar at home with its abilities to grind exceptional accuracy across espresso and filter brewing, using low RPMs for a consistent grind, this is set to be a standout grinder within its price range for some time to come. At least 25,000 shots. So if you have any questions on the X54, then add them to the comment section down below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen, and then that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. And if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.